Hey guys, it's Adam with Marfugal News. I wanted to show you a very interesting clip. Uh, thanks to Ralph, one of my patrons, he actually sent me this video. It's not exactly news. In fact, it's 19 years old. Some of you have may have seen excerpts on CNN or Fox News. This is Donald Trump specifically being asked about North Korea and a preemptive strike to their nuclear capabilities. Take a peek. It's going to be an impediment. I wouldn't bother. You have a new book coming out, The America We Deserve, uh, which I've had a chance to had some excerpts given to me by your office. Let me talk about some of the issues. One is North Korea. And you say that you, as president, would be willing to launch a preemptive strike against North Korea's nuclear capability. First, I'd negotiate. I would negotiate like crazy. And I'd make sure that we tried to get the best deal possible. Look, Tim. If a man walks up to you in a street in Washington, because this doesn't happen, of course, in New York, but if a man walks up and puts a gun to your head and says, give me your money, wouldn't you rather know where he's coming from before he had the gun in his hand? And these people, in three or four years, are going to be having nuclear weapons. They're going to have those weapons pointed all over the world and specifically at the United States. And wouldn't you be better off solving this really potentially unbelievable, and the biggest problem, I mean, we can talk about the economy, we can talk about social security. The biggest problem this world has is nuclear proliferation. And we have a country out there in North Korea, which is sort of wacko, which is not a, dumb, not a bunch of dummies, and they are going out and they are developing nuclear weapons. And they're not doing it because they're having fun doing it. They're doing it for a reason. And wouldn't it be good to sit down and really negotiate something, and ideally negotiate? Now, if that negotiation doesn't work, you better solve the problem now than solve it later, Tim. And you know it, and every politician knows it, and nobody wants to talk about it. Jimmy Carter, who I really like, and he went over there. It was so soft. These people are laughing at us.